Hello everyone, John Elder again with another service video. This one's gonna cover all the ways we control our fan motors. Be sure to follow all safe work practices, especially the use of PPE. All circuits should be de-energized prior to any wiring or service. Remember, many of our controls will have more than one circuit that will need to be turned off. After de-energizing the circuit, verify that the circuit is dead, then lock out and tag the breaker. First, let's talk about a belt drive fan. These fans have been around for years and have been kind of industry standard for a lot of years. These fans are typically controlled by a contactor that when energized will send full voltage to the motor and the motor runs at full speed. So the only way to control the fan speed is to either adjust the motor pulley or the fan pulley or changing the pulleys out to a different combination. The next way we control a fan motor is with a VFD or a variable frequency drive. What these drives do is they take in constant power at constant frequency and then they convert that power and change the frequency to the motor. And that's what controls the speed of the motor. Uh, most of these fans are gonna be direct drive fans with three phase motors in them. So really with a VFD is the only way you can control fan speed because you have no pulleys or anything to control them with. In certain conditions, the VFD can either be mounted in the fan, can be mounted inside the building on a wall somewhere, or it can be mounted in the hood control package. Either way, the VFD has to be protected from the weather and it has to be mounted in a well-ventilated place because those VFDs build up a lot of heat. The VFD can be controlled in a couple of different ways. First is it can be set up to just run at a constant speed whenever power is applied. Uh, second is it can receive a remote signal from like a Modbus network or from a building management system, for example. Be sure to check your wiring diagram for your job to see which type of control you're using. The rest of our motor control involves a totally unique type of motor that we use here. It's an EC motor. It's an electrically commutated motor. All the electronics for that motor that it needs to run are contained within the motor. So that motor gets voltage applied to it, high voltage applied to it from the breaker panel, so it's standing power. And then in order to get that motor to run, it has to receive a PWM signal or a pulse width modulation signal. That can be generated in a couple of different ways. We have a speed controller that can generate that pulse width modulation. Uh, we can also do it through one of our control packages. First is our control panel. So if you wire the low voltage wiring from the fan with a twisted shielded pair down to our control package, you wire that fan to the correct P terminals on the control package, ensuring that the polarity is correct. Our control board will produce that PWM signal and control the fan start as well as the fan speed. We also have a separate EC motor controller that just like a VFD can be set up to run at a set speed or receive a remote signal. We have a video specifically just for motor controls and EC motors, so be sure to check that one out. Remember that every job is custom built, so there's no two jobs alike. The wiring diagram on your job site is critical to making sure that everything gets wired and functions properly. If you have any questions about this or any of our products, feel free to call or email. Thanks for watching.